I like how they set up multiple matches in this with this with with these encounters. Like you, you can definitely get a Hangman versus Okada out of this eventually, because yeah. you know yeah. Okada don't don't fuck with that man. Uh, you can get a rematch between Swerve and Okada on a bigger stage. You can get mm-hmm. obviously Swerve versus Hangman on a uh, bigger scale as well. So. I'm glad you said that. I, all due respect to Brian Danielson, because I didn't, you know, given the technical issues, I didn't get a chance to get on you because you, you know, you wasn't believing and having faith in Mr. Brian. But I ain't gonna lie. I still don't. I still it should have been. It should have been Hangman. I'm just gonna put on the. This is like your WrestleMania AEW. Why didn't you take the bigger story? I get it. Daniel Brian Danielson, Daniel Bryan, however you want to name him. You know, he's on his uh, farewell tour, if you will. But literally, for him mm-hmm. to make it known publicly, like, oh, yeah, yeah, you know. Granted, he said Tony Khan already talked about it publicly, but his contract being up in August, it's kind of like, well, what's the point of doing this match? Then? Why do this one, you know? And Swerve's got to get his win, I, I, I would hope, because why have him lose the first time they met if you have him lose when it matters most with the title? You know what I'm saying? Like, Swerve got to right. get that win back. Um, I don't know, bro. I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you said that because that's that's a nice little segue with a graphic that I put up on on Twitter. I'm not saying X. Fuck you. Uh, yeah. On Twitter, uh, I put it put up this graphic where it basically asked the simple Mary question of should Hangman Page play a part in the world title outcome at mm. all? Hmm. That's a and really people good in the question. chat. People in the chat can can chime in as well. But I, I just want to like have have this discussion with us. Like, should Hangman Page have a part because the match is set in stone. It's going to be Brian Danson versus Swerve Strickland. I mean, they could go the triple threat route, but it's like if they don't go that route, should Hangman Page? Because he, if you listen to what he said when he uh, had him chained up on the case, he said, "You don't. You should not not have been. You should not be the world champion. You don't deserve this title." Mm-hmm. Do you feel like he's going to screw him? Hmm. And then like, I, I know it'll, it'll suck for Brian Danson to win the title in dubious means, but that's literally Hangman's story. He just despises this man so much that he just does not want him to be world champion. I ooh, it's it's a it's a very good question to ask. <laughs> I mean, it, it really is. You could go either way, but and then me as soon as I watch, finish, watch the finish of that match, I'm like, ooh, hmm. yeah, yeah. To me, honestly, Broski, I really think uh, I think he shouldn't. I think he should. He shouldn't because Elaborate. you can you can this Brian Danielson is not the type that really like you know does many interference spots in his matches that often. Usually, right that he can control. And like you said, he really wouldn't want to win it under those circumstances. And the the contract situation makes that very interesting too because it's like again with him kind of fading out. It fading to black, if you will, it wouldn't be a point for him to have that title win right now, per se. You know, I think he just wants to go out just doing what he loves to do and just wrestling, really, because it was never about titles for him. Otherwise, he would have won a couple of titles by now. From the, we remember when he got in, that's that's part of your basis for why you ain't really got faith in Brian Danielson, right? He would have won Not titles by now. Remember, he came in the same time CM Punk did, right around the same time. So and he ain't won no title since. It was him, Punk. It was him, Punk. Brian. I mean, Adam Cole. Adam Cole. Yep. Yep. So, Who also? Yeah, he ain't won no titles either. I don't think. I mean, outside of the ROH tag titles, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, the Owen. Too. Yeah, you're right. But uh, yeah, that's why I was like, I think Hangman may try. He may try, but I think he'll fail in the attempt of trying to a point where this is going to end with the two of them and him having. You know how they say, if you want something done, do it yourself. It's going to have to be a hangman, do-it-yourself kind of situation. You know what I mean? Like, I guess it would have to be their second biggest pay-per-view if it's not going to be So, all basically, what what I'm getting at is if they don't... If Swerve is losing the title at All Out, All In, it's going to be All Out, basically? That's what hangman, it feels like. Because he's going to be what... obsessed with, like, yo, I got to get that title off him. Yeah, because for me, I... Personally, I would like to see Swerve basically ride out the rest of the year as champ. Personally, I would mm-hmm. love for him to ride it out the rest of the year. Then, while you're telling this long-term story, let him, like you said, he's so obsessed with wanting to take this title out of his hands that Hangman becomes your, would he be the first two-time champion? Has anyone won it more yeah. than once? So, yeah, that would be his perfect way of being like well, the, no, the no, first. No, 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 
Well, Punk is the first two-time champion, technically, even uh, though he what? never really... Because he won it the first time, got injured, and then he won it again. Or wait, wouldn't it be Mox? What about Mox? Because remember, because remember, remember, oh, Mox. Yeah, Mox is like a three-time champion, though. Yeah, he's like a three. So then, I guess, okay, so take back the first. At least in his case, this will give him a chance to be champion again. Because it was you like, know? it was Punk, then Mox. Uh-huh. Then, and then Punk won it again. <laughs> yeah. No, it was Punk, then Mox. Because I think the interim is throwing me the fuck off. Because <laughs> they remember yeah. they were doing the whole interim thing. So that's why yeah, I was throwing me off. So it was like, it was like, I think Mox is the first two-time champion, and then he won it yeah. for a third time. Yeah, and then Punk, and then so this would be Hangman. So he would be in some, some, some. You know, I agree with you know chat very much making it clear it was Moxley as as we were getting to for the most part. But um, still, all in all, I mean that would put him in good company because it's rarefied air, and you know, pun intended when I say that with Ashley. But you know, uh, it's. <laughs> It's, it's one of those things like, hey, it, he can be in small company or be in a multi-time champ if you want. All out, let him make it like a last man stand. Whatever kind of blood feud they want to make it. Plus, if you think about it, he needs his win eventually against Swerve anyway. Swerve's already beaten him, what, two, three times? Yeah, Swerve, is, Swerve literally has no reason to fight this man. Like, he, he, he already beat him the first two times they fought. Mm-hmm. Hangman yeah, is the so. one that has nothing left to lose. Exactly. So, and what's worse than a man like that with nothing to lose? Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's switch over to the chat right quick uh, to answer the question: Should Hangman Adam Page be involved in the world title outcome? Uh, Cam over on YouTube said, "I think no, because at this point now we're getting parallels with the Punk Drew feud, and tribalism is going to show its ugly head." You are right about that, especially on Twitter. <laughs> you you're right. Especially, you, that's a good that's a good right. point, bro. It, it really is. And, and man, and that's uh, another thing. What's that? Oh yeah, because Rich uh, said I feel like I feel he shouldn't also feel that they are going to do Hangman versus Sorbet all out. So that yeah, pretty much what like like I said, they so, might go that route with all out. If they want to finish that story so soon or they want to drag it out, it's up to Tony Khan. Like really yeah. at the end of the day. So it's like it, will he uh yeah, so yeah, Amen. I mean, it just, it really only makes sense, bro. Like, if you ain't going to do it in Wembley, then you do it at All Out, wherever that's going to be. I'm assuming Chicago, since they love Chicago there so much. Um, where is where is All Out in 2024? Hold on. <laughs> did, they, did they have their announced where it's at? I don't know. Yeah. Because I'm thinking it's either, what, there or This is Chicago. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> See? It's like it's it's like that's their favorite place, bro. Chicago for that specific mm. pay per view, bro. I don't get it. I'm just like, all right, get to Chicago, sure. Um, but they definitely spaced it out. They spaced it out though this year because of last year when they remember when they had all out, all in and then right after all out. So they was mm-hmm. like, yeah, we're gonna space it out this time that's by this extra year. week, by extra week. Like you should not be booking two back to back pay per views. Like that. At all. I don't care what company. I don't care like who's who has money, who doesn't. Like I should not be spending fifty dollars back to back. At all. Nobody wants. That's to just that that's just me looking at my finances. I'm like I should not be, and especially on a subpar card. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or a, or a card that feels but, like you just threw this together. But to be fair, I will say, despite them throwing it together last year when they did that, yeah, you could argue that All Out was better than All In when they turned around like that because some people were debating all that. in last like, year was was fine for the presentation but mm-hmm. all out from the wrestling to me was better than all in yeah for sure I when the club go around here i'm a cat this bang bang gang got a whole you jack when i'm in the ring it's just me and my best friends oc cutting no slack hollywood right. miz you can put me on the a-list crush unleash better put it on your playlist me and my fam be balling like the bruce fight night baby hard hitting like shameless family first yes bloodline business we winning all the gold look at how they witness 